have not closed the circle, so he's going to start to escape. And I'm going to turn him up on, on, on a tripod, move my knee out, and take him to the other side. But as I take him to the other side, what are we going to do? Exactly what you just did. So you see, it's, I mean, it, you, you can look at someone do that on YouTube or something and go, oh, well, what's the difference? But there's a lot of difference. On this side, you had the top circle shut, the bottom circle open. When you took them to the non-master side, those two things had reversed around. You'd shut the bottom circle and you'd open the top one and you'd won the paddy cat fight, which means now we're ready to go to work. All right, so we're going to add that in. That's, that's the thing we're going to add at the start. We're going to add that in. And then there's a second thing. There's two main, there might be more, but there's two main um, advantages for the non-master side that I've always been aware of since I learned this 15 years ago or something, is one of them is on the non-master side, you can use your foot to kill his arm. You can't do that on the master side because he's laying on your leg. So that's a huge advantage, right? Because when you're fighting for the back, sorry, when you have the back, one of the reasons we have difficulty finishing people is because I've got two hands and he's got two hands, but he can also tuck his chin down. So let's call that a queen and a bishop. No. Queen and a rook. And he's got a queen and a rook. He's got a pawn. <laughs> it's an annoying thing. You know, any chess analogy, that would be if I had a queen and a rook, you had a queen and a rook, but you also had a pawn, I'm going to lose. Like, if you're good, right? So it's, it doesn't seem like much, but it's a big thing. So when we go to this side over here and we can kill the arm with our foot, now I've got, this has, got, this has killed that, this has killed that, I've got this left over and all this got his little chin. This is better than that. I can put your chin down. <laughs> Sorry, Darren. Like, <laughs> you know, or like, it doesn't matter. So you can, you're going to win. Um, now, the way we're going to do it, is you, you've won the paddy cake, we punch it down as far as we can. We straighten our arm out, and uh, you don't want to hold the wrist, you want to hold the hand because that gives you more room between my hand and his elbow to find his arm. If you're on the wrist and he's got short arms, there's no room for your foot. A lot of people have a problem finding the arm with the leg, and it's usually for two reasons. They're holding the wrist is the number one reason, there's no space left to it to get it, and the other reason is they need to move the hip away. So I, you move your hip away a little bit, and then I don't look for his arm, you look for your hand. Because you can find your hand with your foot. Find your hand, put your heel, kick it, kill it. Okay? That's, so that's a big reason why the non-master side is a big advantage, you can use the foot. The other reason is, when I get the collar here, my right elbow has got somewhere to go for the choke. Or, even if I'm just using my hand like this, it's got somewhere to go. If we're over on this side, it's got nowhere to go, the paws in the way. So you see this, the two big advantages for the so-called weak side or non-master side is that one, we can use our leg to kill the arm, and two, we can <coughs> start doing one-arm chokes. Because you've got elbows got somewhere to go. And where that to go is meaning over his shoulder, obviously not out in the space, right over his shoulder. Does that make sense? So we're going to do all that. Okay. So we're going to start with seatbelt grip on the master side, like the very normal thing, the most common thing in the world for jiu-jitsu. And then he's going to beat our hook. We're going to tripod. We're going to take him all the way to the non-master. But on the way over there, we're going to do that circle closing and paddy cake fight, and then stop there, and then I'll show you how to kill the arm with the foot, and then we'll choke him. And after we do that, we can start the session. You need, you need to know that before we can begin. Okay, let's go.